UVC Kids Ministry. Miss Samina here from the South Loop location. And today we're going to be reading a story about serving people, serving Jesus. From Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 46. So I'm going to read the story and show you the pictures and then also give you some ideas of activities you could do at home with mom and dad. Okay, so before we get into the story, I'm going to ask you one question. So in the story, Jesus told his followers about the important things his people do. What do you think are some of the most important things we do as followers of Jesus? Mm, that's a thinker, right? What do you think are some of the most important things that we do as followers of Jesus? Hmm. I think one thing I can think of, for example, is caring for the sick, right? Especially in these times. Um, what about feeding the homeless? What about sharing with our siblings and our friends and just people around us? Um, one more thing. What about helping around the house and doing chores, right? I think those are some of the important things that we can do as followers of Jesus. So think about it. Think about this question, you know, answer with mom and dad. Um, try to come up with the best answer you can. So the question again is, what do you think are some of the most important things we do as followers of Jesus? It's a thinker, but I know you can do it. So in today's story, Jesus is teaching his disciples about the importance of service. Service. Let's think about that word, service. What is service? What do you think service is? For example, service can be in the form of helping other people. Service can be in the form of helping mom and dad. Service can be in the form of feeding the sick, clothing the homeless, right? So let's think, what is service? What do you think service is? So Jesus is teaching his disciples the importance of service. When we take care of each other, we are sharing God's love with others. This is an important part of being in God's family. Okay, so let's think about that as we read the story. And once again, the story is from Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 46. So I'm going to be careful with the pictures here because I have a ring light and it might be glowing a little too much. Jesus, how do you know who serves you and who doesn't? The disciples wonder. How do I know who serves Jesus and who doesn't? That's a good question. You should think about it. I know who serves me like a shepherd knows his sheep. Jesus explained, a shepherd knows how to tell a sheep from a goat. Do you know how to tell a sheep from a goat? After this lesson, I want you to go search on your iPad or whatever you use to look on the internet and see the difference between a sheep and a goat. Maybe you've never thought about it before, but that's something you can look up later. People who serve me are like sheep. People who don't are like goats. We want to be like the sheep, the disciples said eagerly. How can we serve you? Service. Think about it. When you serve other people, you serve me. Remember when I gave you the examples about helping mom and dad around the house, clothing the homeless, feeding the hungry. So when you serve other people, you're serving God, right? Jesus smiled. When you feed someone who is hungry, you serve me. When you share your blanket with someone who is cold, you serve me. 
When you care for someone who is sick, you serve me. The disciples looked pleased with themselves. Of course, they knew how to serve Jesus. And remember these little carrot people that we talk about and during Sunday Zoom classes? The little carrot people are here. Let's see what they're saying. Hmm. I wonder why it was so important to tell the difference between sheeps and goats. Sheep and goats, I'm sorry. Sheep and goats. Well, did they call Jesus the good shepherd, not the good goater? <laughs> I don't know if I said that correctly, but you get the point, right? Here we go. So look at this. When you clothe people, when you take care of the sick, when you feed the hungry, these are all examples of how you can serve God. All examples. But Jesus warned, when people do not serve others, they do not serve me. Every time you ignore someone who needs your help, it's like ignoring me too. Oh no! The disciples looked at each other. They felt nervous as they started thinking about if they had ignored someone who needed help. Have you ignored someone who needed help? Think about it. Can we be sure to always serve you, Jesus? Oh, sorry. How can we be sure to always serve you, Jesus? They asked. Help others. Share. Love each other. Jesus replied, God's kingdom is for those who show their love by serving others in need. What's your favorite way to serve others? I want you to think about that question this week. And... Really, every time you get a chance, every time it comes to your mind, think about it. What's your favorite way to serve others? And the question here says, but can I ignore someone if I can't think of how to serve them? Hmm, that's a good question. That's not what Jesus means, Otto. This doesn't mean... You know, if you don't know how to serve someone, you just ignore them. No, you you can ask them, well, what do you need? How can I be of service to you? How can I help you, right? If you see someone and you're, not, you're unsure of how to help them, you just simply ask, how may I help you? How can I be of service to you, right? So that's the end of the story. It's important to know the difference between sheep and goat. So I want you to look that up. Also, when you think about how you can be of service to others, I want you to think about what service actually means, right? And also, while you're at home, earlier this week, I sent out an email to your parents. And in that email is a worship bulletin. And in that bulletin are lots of activities that you could do at home. There are also coloring pages that you could use after you watch this lesson to color in the pages that go along with the stories and also the bulletin. So I can show you here on my computer. Let me see if I can flip it. So if you look on my computer... This is the worship bulletin and there are activities in there, All right? So in this one, it says the chart below, put a check beside someone who is caring for others, All right? Now on this side, we're coloring in how do adults and children serve in your worship ministry? And you're gonna color it in, All right? So there are lots of activities to do there in the email. And I hope you all have a blessed week and a great week. And hopefully we'll be able to see each other very, very soon. Bye-bye. See you next time.